Hey, happy pandemic lockdown, everybody. This is Bob KK for DIV, and today we're out in the garage. Uh, had the day off from work, so since we can't really go out and do much, I figure I'd maybe do a little project around the around the house here. You know, I've got a little bit of a problem. I've got two uh, VHF, UHF antennas, but they're both tied up for digital work. I've got one running Apers, and I've got another one that's running my two meter packet station. So the problem is if I want to get on voice, I have to disconnect one of the antennas, switch it over, or I have a little stubby antenna that's kind of sticking onto my MFJ window uh, pass through. I'll show that to you right here. This is the antenna I've been using for voice. It does not work that well. It's magnetic. It's attached to this plate for this uh, MFJ window pass through panel I have for my antennas. But that just doesn't provide an ad adequate ground plane. And uh, it's a small coax and it doesn't perform all that great and I get a lot of RF back into the shack. So today I'm gonna to come out here, I'm already here, and we're going to put together a two meter dipole that maybe I can put up in the tree uh, that's out in front of my shack and maybe we can get it on two meter voice a little bit better than what we're doing right now. Okay folks, if you remember the formula for figuring out the length of a half wave dipole, uh, it's 468 divided by your frequency in megahertz. So we're gonna take 468 divided by 146.520. That's the center frequency I wanna have this uh, dipole antenna on. You can have yours on anything you want, but that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to get my calculator going here. Hold on, let's see here. Uh, clear, clear. Okay. So, 468 divided by 146.52 equals 3.194 feet. So that's how many feet the overall length of the dipole is. So we want to figure out how long each side of the dipole. So we've got, let me just draw this here. We got a dipole. That's your feed line. We want to figure out what each one of these is. So the whole thing is 3.194. So we're going to divide by 2, and that gives us 1.597 feet, okay? So each one of these is 1.597 feet. But I want to work in inches. So to change your uh, convert feet to inches, uh, we're going to times it by 12 because we have 12 inches in a foot. And if we remember the feet will now cancel, you times the 1.597 times 12 is 19.1646 inches. We're going to round that up to 19.2. I always round up because it's better to have too much and be able to cut off than to have too little. Uh, so we're just going to round it up to 19.2 on each leg of the dipole. So that's the number we're going to look for for the wire length. Alright, so I'm going to be using this red and black zip line. I didn't have very much left on the spool. And uh, like I said, this is a stay at home 
uh, project. I didn't want to have to go out and get anything. Uh, this is just stuff I have laying around the garage and that's what we're going to use to build this. So the nice thing about zipline is you don't have to measure twice because they're both going to be the same length. So 19.2 inches. I'm going to just do 19 and a half because like I said, better to have too much than too little. That's 19 and a half. I'm going to get some pliers here. No, I don't have any pliers. I got some snips. Perfect. 19 and a half inches. Still have plenty of zip line left for another project. All right. Now we just have to separate this zip line. Let's, let's double check, make sure this is 19.2 inches. Or 19.5 is what I cut it to. Measure twice, cut once. I measured once and cut. There you go, 19 and a half, close enough. That is awesome. Now, I'm going to split this in half. Trusty Swiss Army pocket knife here. Now we have each leg of my dipole. Cool. Now what? That's a good question. Now what? Now how am I going to make this dipole? I got some pieces of PVC here. And uh, what I'm thinking, and I've got these little uh, SO239. SO239, yeah, connectors. And I'm thinking, and I've got this. I can drill a hole in this cap and mount that in there and then run my wires out of the uh, T and then attach them into some PVC um, that will kind of hold the wires out straight. Like I said, this is just a, a, a pandemic stay at home lockdown project so i'm just using what i got laying around and i think that's going to work pretty well That made an absolute mess. Oh, all right. Let's try try something else here. Lock down. That'll lock down. Okay. So turn this back on. All right, folks. I've got the hole drilled in the cap, and I had to do a little bit of modification. Because what I've got here is you got two legs, obviously, of your dipole. Uh, you got the hot the center pin, and then you got the outer shield from the coax will go to this uh, part of the dipole, which is the opposite side. And uh, so when I had that little nut in there, obviously I couldn't get it flush, so I had to kind of partially drill out a little indention and then drill a hole so the nut will nut will sit down in there and I can put that screw through that nut and um, that's it that's how I got that drilled took a little bit of work I used my drill press here to kind of get that hole out it's not perfect but for what I'm trying to accomplish today I think it's going to work all right the next thing is uh, to do the soldering to get these wires attached it's going to be the fun part. So uh, let's get to work.
All right, I've got the dipole kind of taped onto this PVC pipe. It's getting a little bit of interference from that wood, but it's not bad. And if you can see, you can't read that, I don't think, but 1.7, 1 1.7 at uh, 146.52. That's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. I've already trimmed, and honestly, I trimmed a little bit too much um, off. I trimmed that much off of each one off of each side and that was a little bit too much but that's okay it's good enough it's gonna work so let's finish this project I want to put it inside this PVC pipe using this T connector and this cap that I have previously made and let's get that put together okay so I've got the cap inside the T you can see I've got the connector screwed into the cap. Got a little bit of a gap right here. I'm going to fill that in with some caulk. And then I've got the two wires coming out. And we'll put some PVC on each side to keep these spread out and straight. And then we can hang this as a vertical dipole or a horizontal dipole. So you can go either way with this. So we've got that coated in a nice film of caulk, kind of sealed that up around there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some PVC to support my two uh, ends of the dipole. I don't really have a way of marking this, so we're just going to do this and do that. There we go. It is marked. Cut this. All right, folks, there it is. That is the two meter dipole. I think that's gonna work out quite well. Uh, I can hang this horizontally or vertically. And uh, just used a little bit of caulk in each end to hold the wires in place. Right now I got it taped down with some uh, electrical tape as well. Once that caulk dries, I can remove the electrical tape. And then I'd like to get some caps put on the ends to kind of keep it weatherproof. Didn't have any caps laying around the house and, you know, we're under a quarantine or stay-at-home order or whatever, so I'm not going to get out and go get any, but uh, this is a good start to the project and just goes to show you that, you know, even if you're stuck inside and you don't have much to do, can't get out and do anything, can't get out and go anywhere, a lot of us have some junk laying around the house and pieces of scrap or whatever that uh, for one reason or another, you know, well, if you're like me, you just can't seem to get rid of because one day you think you're going to need it. Well, one day, I didn't really need it, but I found some use for it since I can't go out and do anything. So, like I said, it just goes to show you that, you know, you can put together an antenna, find a project to do around the house, or uh, uh, do something, you know, maybe a little bit different in ham radio. Maybe solve a problem you had like I did. I had a problem. And I figured out a way to solve it. But I uh, do appreciate each and every one of you turn it, tuning in. And uh, stay safe out there, everybody. Stay inside. Only go out if you have to. And uh, we'll all get through this little pandemic uh, and come out the other side of it. Uh, I believe we'll come out just fine. So uh, stay safe. 73 for now. This is Bob KK for DIV. Until next time, bye-bye. Oh, yeah. 
Did y'all see my Mandalorian cup? It's pretty cool. Beautiful wife got that for me. She's always getting stuff for me. Good stuff. <laughs>